Oil prices move higher early in the session on Friday, trading above $90 a barrel as risks remain elevated and any potential disruption in production remains high. However, we did see a turnaround late morning, early afternoon. We saw oil prices moving lower, back below $90 a barrel, closing just below $89, closing actually lower on the session. However, we did see oil prices close higher on the week. Now, oil has been rallying since June, and after a modest pullback in early October, they've continued the rally as geopolitical risks continue to rise in the Middle East, taking us very close to the September $95 year-to-date high. But we didn't get there this week, again, closing back below $90 a barrel this week. Now, what does this mean for volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, You'll notice that last Friday we saw a spike higher in volatility as these tensions in the Middle East continued to grow, marking a year-to-date high. However, this week we saw those, those volatility marks soften slightly, and while they were lower on the week, they do remain elevated and do remain very close to year-to-date highs. As I mentioned, that we do continue to see uh, tensions remain very elevated in the Middle East. Lastly, let's talk about positioning. What are speculators doing? Well, Speculators have been exiting their net long position. They've been doing that pretty much for throughout the month of October. And as of October 17th, that's exactly what we saw based on the CFTC reports. Now, they were adding to their net long positions between July, August, and September, but since then have been exiting. Despite the fact that oil prices remain elevated, we see speculators exiting their net long positions. So another busy week in oil, seeing prices chop and rise, ending the week ultimately higher as we continue to watch what happens in the Middle East amid rising geopolitical tensions.